Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the battle of the bath oils. I am going to be comparing the wildly, wildly popular Relax Bath Oils from Aromatherapy Associates. I'm going to be discussing the Light Relax and the Deep Relax. I'm going to be telling you all the details on these two oils, how to use them, which one I would recommend. So if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, then just keep on watching. These are both crazy popular, crazy expensive. You might be wondering which one to buy. Hopefully I am here to help you. I'm gonna be talking you through my thoughts on both of these oils. I'm going to start with my most loved product from the brand and my absolute favorite thing of all time to put in my bath. Oh my gosh, it is the Light Relax Bath Oil. I am obsessed with this. I got it for the first time in a minted box. <sighs> Fell in love, was horrified <laughs> by the price. This one costs 49 pounds for 55 milliliters. Aromatherapy Associates often have sales on their website where you can get value sets. Sometimes they do 30% off. When this is on a deal, I sometimes splurge and treat myself because it's such a massive indulgence, but honestly, there's nothing like it. It is almost like turning your bathroom into a spa. The smell, it's pure aromatherapy oils, it's relaxation, it's heaven, it's heady, it's evocative. It's an insane treat and I love it. So this is the Light Relax Bath and Shower Oil. You get 55 mils. Experience gently relaxing and restful powers of lavender, ylang ylang and petit grain to unwind after a busy day. And it is just, sorry guys, I can't stop smelling it. It's absolutely stunning. We are advised to add a capful to your bath. So it says you can get 20 experiences from this bottle. So it works out a couple of pound a bath. Cheaper than going to the spa, right? Can you see me trying to justify my habit? You can also pour the oil into your hands, rub smooth over your chest, neck, back, body and then you can either step into the bath or shower that's what i do it then tells you to cup your hands and inhale three times before you step into the bath it's a lovely little ritual first while my bath is running i do dry body brushing and then i apply the oil to my body and sink into the bath and it's pure pure bliss you can also put it under running water i would advise if you're adding oil to your bath water directly if you mix it with a little milk Milk, it will disperse throughout the entire water rather than just sitting on the top and again you'll feel like Cleopatra this is my indulgence it really is you can't use this if you are pregnant or breastfeeding so sorry about that pregnant breastfeeding ladies that is due to the essential oils in here Stop for a moment to relax in the gently restful aromas of the light relax bath and shower oil. Blend in high altitude grown lavender, prized with ylang ylang and nurturing wood notes of petit grain. It eases away the thoughts of hectic days so you emerge tranquil, calm and restored. It's vegan, nut free and SLS free. It has a 4.9 star rating on the Aromatherapy Associates website, so I'm not the only one that loves this. People are saying that it's amazing. It contains lavender, but it's not a dusty lavender. It smells fresh. I need to stop smelling it. It smells like heaven. It's quite a bold aroma, just to make you aware, but it is honestly my holy grail bath oil if you do want an aromatic bath and don't want to spend crazy money i recommend the Neil's yard aromatic foaming bath this one's around 15 pounds often on offer in waitrose for a third off so you can get this for 10 pounds this was my ultimate bath product before i discovered this and then I wished I didn't discover this, but this one is gorgeous too. It's got that lavender in and majorum, geranium oils. It smells really aromatic, uplifting, yet relaxing. These are both lovely to use on a night. If I had my choice, 
I would pick this one though, but I still like you. I've got through so many empties of this, more than I would care to count, to be honest. I will come back to this time and time again. So if anyone wants to buy me a present, you can't go wrong. With the Light Relax Bath Oil. When I discovered that the brand had a deep relax bath oil, when I saw it on offer at Space NK, I just ordered it because I thought if I like the Light Relax, Deep Relax is only going to be better and I was overconfident because I really, really don't like this one. Ugh, whereas that smells like heaven, this smells to me like a dusty, old-fashioned, herbal... Honestly, it, it kind of repulses me. <laughs> so, in this one is vetiver chamomile and sandalwood this one has also got valerian in now i'm in the minority a lot of people love this one this is my speed this is not my speed but this also has rave reviews on the website you'd follow exactly the same instructions that i talked about for the last bath oil if you do like this they do a 100 ml version of this for 69 pounds if this is your thing and you wanted it to be a bit better value this 55 ml size again is 49 pounds the same price as the light relax this was actually the winner of best bath product in the mary claire skin awards two and 20 and it's also won a Tatler Beauty Award. It's really, really popular. My nostrils just don't like it. Again, not suitable if you are pregnant or breastfeeding due to the essential oils. This was created by the founder of Aromatherapy Associates to address her own insomnia. That's interesting. Naturally relieving an intensely calming blend of oils, shrugs off daily fatigue, slows a racing mind and readies you for undisturbed sleep. Like I said, 4.9 star rating on the Aromatherapy Associates website. People love this. I'm just not one of them. So of the two oils, my recommendation would be, of course, for the Light Relax. However, if you do like the Deep Relax, you can get this in a 100ml size, which makes it a little bit cheaper. So if you like this version, I'd recommend this if you kind of evens on the scent but for me heaven for this i wouldn't say hell but i would say i strongly dislike it please let me know all your thoughts about those down in the comments thank you so much for being with me and i'll catch you in the next video